Hey folks, I just want to make you aware of something that happens in Python periodically and it raises up and bites you on the behind and it's very annoying because it seems like it shouldn't be that way and I've actually been running something for the past couple of weeks without any problem and it just started to fail for me today before I did the recording of the lesson that I did and so I've been going back and looking into it a little bit more to figure out what has changed and I haven't figured out what's changed but I do know what the issue is. The issue is this, I'm attempting to run, I'm in this directory which is the Flask SQL Quokka, that is this thing right here which we just went through and, and moved from doing our mini Quokka in Flask using local global variables to having it uh, have a database, an SQL database. And so I'm running it using this mechanism. There's different ways to run Flask. Uh, this is the one that recently, most recently has been recommended. So I'm trying to use this. Now, when I run it, I'm getting this error after it loads. And this is my stack trace. And it's telling me module not found error, no module named extensions. Well, I've run into issues like that lots of times. And so I look to find out, okay, well, what's the problem where Am I running it from the wrong directory? Is there no uh, module named extensions or something? I looked, I'm running it from here. Extensions is right there. It's got the information in it. So I'm confused as to what the actual problem might be. And so what I ended up doing was I decided to set this thing called Python path. Let me show you what it's like to set that variable. I'm going to do export Python path and I'm going to say equals dot. That will set Python path equal to my own directory from which I'm running. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. Now I'm going to run this again and let's see if the error goes away. So sure enough, the error has gone away. Now <clears throat> here's the situation. When we've been running our software before, Python path by default is the current directory from which you're running your application. Now normally we're saying something like Python 3 space and the name of our application so everything works fine. In this situation, however, I'm not running my application, I'm running Flask. And Flask actually is located in a different directory. So it's looking for extensions in that Flask directory. And so what I need to do is I need to specify the Python path. Now the easiest way to do that is just to modify, <clears throat> excuse me, is to modify my bash login script. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna edit bash RC and I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm gonna say export, um, Python path equals dot. Now be aware that this doesn't take effect until the next uh, shell, ne the next terminal shell that I log into. By the way, you will notice that this line before I'm saying flask app equals Quokka, I use that for when I am running the actual Quokka application, the larger one that's a project that I built um, that is different than our little mini Quokka. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna exit. Let me come back in and we'll see if this works. I'm gonna change directory to Python M07B is where it was. And now I'm gonna find my export flask app equals quokka server.py flask run. And it's running successfully. So Python path has, there's a whole lot of stuff associated with that and you can run into problems with that down the road. You may have run into a problem with that with some of the code that we ran. I can't remember where it was somewhere. Uh, I referenced, I think it was in, no, I guess it wasn't in here. What did, was it in this one? Somewhere I referenced something in util and uh, that wasn't in the Python path. Now, if you're running this from PyCharm, which we've done, which is more difficult if you're running Flask, but if you're running it from PyCharm, you see these ones that I've put 
uh, that are blue, it says it's the source's root. That basically tells PyCharm to look for a particular uh, function or module in there. And so that is why uh, normally, like I had set this to be source's root, so it works fine when I run it from here. Uh, but like I say, now we're running Flask. It's running externally, and the actual program that it runs is, in fact, if I was to do, um, let's see, control C, if I was to do which flask, it would tell me that it's running it from home chuck dot local bin flask. So that's where it was looking for my uh, extensions code that, as we saw, wasn't there. It's, it's in this local directory. So we want to get it to run from the local directory. That's what you have to do. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah, sorry if you've run into that and you didn't know what to do. As always, if you have questions, send me a question on YouTube comments or Twitter or Discord or wherever it is that you choose to connect with me. Thanks. Bye.